U.S. It is February 28th. Wait, is it the 20th? This is the 21st. I'm stupid. Um, when I turned in something in the second period, I wrote 2 2017. But it's the 21st. I'm wrong. Yeah. Yesterday was the 20th. But I am very excited for all of War 2017 on Saturday. And I uploaded to my main channel, SMH Cooper, all um, musicals of all of War 2017. So go check that out, my main channel. But I'm going to talk about them a little more uh, in this video. So, um, first event is FMC. And I think that I can get 45. Uh, single at least yesterday I did an attempt and it was 40 moves but um, I got to F2 all minus 1 in 15 moves it's just I could not do anything else better it's the best I could do even using this in first scramble and an insertion I um in doing the last pair I got the EO making it into a um um, making it into a Nikos, but um, then after the Nikos, there's a U perm, so I used an insertion in there. But the whole thing is that I started the thing with the inverse scramble, and then I switched back to the regular scramble after F12 minus one. So after like figuring out how I had to like switch the moves in order to create what I had to inverse and what I had to write out to make it the final solution when I did the final solution it worked but it looked so weird like it just looked like I was doing nothing like I was doing a nick loss like at the very beginning like after a few moves it just like started off with like a nick loss and it was doing like and then at the end it just solved. It looked so weird, like you could just see near the end blocks were just being formed and it just solved. So it was like really weird because, you know, it didn't look like it would actually be solving things. But um, first I couldn't figure out how I was supposed to write the final solution, but I kind of like, uh, I kind of figured it out because the first thing, the idea that I had originally on how to write the inverse scramble, I mean how to write the solution, it didn't work when I did it first, but I must have accidentally not inversed things correctly. So I ended up getting an unsolved cube, nowhere near solved. Um, but once I tried it again, it actually worked, so that's pretty cool. Um, I feel like I could get 35 moves or less if I get lucky, like a good last layer case or something like that. Because I can um, feel like I have a good chance of being able to uh, find good um i mean i have the ability of knowing how to use the inverse scramble and insertions and stuff like that from watching um speaky reviews video so i have a better chance of being able to find better solutions and if i do find like a good solution say i got another time where i got f2 on just one on like 15 moves or something then um and i got a good last layer case then it could be good like say i just the last f2 a pair in like five moves then i got a soon that would be only that would be like a less than 30 moves so, but i don't think that would happen if i'm lucky but um or say i got to less i got to um last slot in 15 moves did the last slot in five moves that would be 22 moves then i got a t perm that would be 36 moves so unfortunately that wouldn't make the cut, the, um, the nationals cut off, but maybe I could find a way to, uh, I don't know how do you do an insertion for a Uper. I don't think you can do it with three pieces. I mean a T-perm. I don't know what all optimal T-perm is, but, um, maybe I could, like, play around with the algorithm and see if there's a place where you can do the algorithm a little quicker without... Um, because I know T-perm is just sexy sledge and uh, F, R, U, perm, R, perm, U, perm, R, U, R, perm, F, perm, but, um, canceled. So maybe 
if, oh, if I'm at a point where in the solve I basically have those, like I could try for an insertion where the move, the R, is already done, so I would just have to do 13 moves, and then it would take me back to my, oh, but then I'd still have to do an R. Unless I canceled a move, then I'd be able to do something out of that. So maybe that's like a good place where insertions like that could come into play. So, yeah. So uh, after I finished my FOVS, my AP statistics, I was doing some 4x4. Four four. Yeah, I was doing a lot of AP statistics, but I didn't get picked up until like 3.45. So I was queuing um, earlier. Got a Megan uh, Kilmings PB, I think. It's a faster 38 than before, but I was averaging. I mean, I got a... Uh, was it a 49 average? I think I got a 49 average. Yeah, I got like a 48 or 49 average, so yeah. Um, I could be probably sub 40, like averaging that if it wasn't for all the lockups on this puzzle. Hello guys, it's February 22nd, 2017. I'm wearing this shirt because at my school I'm in the BPA program, which is it's like the magnet because um, I'm not zoned for this school, but I come here in the orchestra magnet. Anyway, last month I forgot that there was a VP scenario that day, so I didn't wear this, but I remember this time. So, I feel accomplished. I remember. Because okay. I forgot there was a VPA recital that month. Some months there aren't. But, um, so, I'm still very excited for the competition. I still have like stuff I have to get done this week, so I'm not going to be doing a ton of practicing these next few days, but on Friday I'm going to do a lot of practicing. I have all my stuff done before Friday, so I don't have to do anything on Friday, really. Um, so I can practice a lot. I was practicing some yesterday after I finished my FOVS, like 4x4 four four and stuff. My reduction was like really slow, but I was getting some lucky 3x3 um, three three stages with hardly any parity. But if I had good reduction, I could have gotten like a PB, like probably sub 40 or something. And I was also getting lucky reduction, I just wasn't doing fast. Well, because like one of them, I ended up getting um, three of the pairs, uh, three of the cross edges after centers, but it didn't mean, it wasn't directly after centers and I was messing things up. I, after I did the first one, I got like the other three. But the first cross edge took like 10 seconds or something, so I ended up taking the same amount of time as it took just to get them all normally. So, But if I got that first cross edge normally, and I get did get those other three pairs, that would have been an amazing solve. And also that solve had um, pretty not so good 3-2-3, three, three, but had good 3-3 uh, three three stage. So if I ended up getting good 323 three, and I got those three cross edges after, that could have been like a 35 or something. You know, that would be amazing. Anyway, in 5x5 five five, I'm good as long as I don't pause. Like yesterday, one of my first solves, it's like a 149. But I sat there at one point and s tried to find one pair for like 10 seconds, so it would have been more like a 139. So. There's a lot of things like this. Um, I think finally, after this competition, I'm gonna actually switch to Yao on 4x4. I always said I was going to, it never happened. I just realized how much more efficient it is. I just can't do it so much, like right before this competition. I just can't. Um, it's just gonna be a big transition too. And I don't wanna do it so soon between competitions. So I just realized I might not even do it after this comp. This is another comp of 4x4 in three weeks after this competition. Then there's, I don't have another, I have another comp the week after. Oh, hopefully. Someone trying to host one in Florida, 25th. If that happens, then I would go to it, but I don't know if it would have 4x4, probably not. Not many Florida comps have 4x4. So maybe during that time of like end March, I can start trying to transition during spring break or something. So yeah. This is the first time in a long time it's been raining during the lunch. This is probably a quick comment I'm doing this video. Since it's February. It kind of just reminds me of the, of the summer. 
So it's Wednesday and I'm going to Subway like I always do on Wednesdays and sometimes on other days but Wednesdays I always do because I need something quick to eat after doing FOVS or cubing or whatever else I'm doing. Sometimes if I have my FOVS done I'll be cubing for a little while. Um, today I, I just did 5 solves, 3 by 3 solves there, um, but I always go to Subway because I have violin lessons and I have to have something quick to eat before that. So. Yeah, and I was just doing three or three solves. I was getting like 11s, 14s, 15. Well, the first solve was a 15, but it was on green. It was a real, because I wanted to do a cross, uh, different color cross. It was like amazing solve, but I had such bad recognition. My 11s, those were actually good, good solves. I just had bad turning speed, bad recognition. They were all in white though, because I do white and yellow. I mean, actually, some of them are yellow and white. I mean, I switch between those. Um, Oh, there's a car coming. So they were, um, I forgot what I was talking about. Oh yeah, they, they just had bad turning speed, bad recognition, because I wasn't warmed up. But, earlier today, I had my VPA recital, as you can see. Um, I was almost to the auditorium. I left my violin in the orchestra room, and I ended up getting, you can't see now, but like, this part of my shoes got drenched from it, the top part of it. This was like running running back to get my violin because I thought it might be locked, but Miss Allen left it open. I mean, unlocked, so I ended up being able to get my violin, but I was kind of late to the, re the recital, but it didn't start yet. I was there before it started, but they, it started a little late, so that's pretty good. That's a good thing. Anyway, yeah, I was so tiring. Tried to run really fast to get there, and then I also had to walk fast to get back while I was carrying my violin, and it was just tiring on my legs and my shoulders because my heavy backpack and my violin really makes it work, so, yeah. I'm leaving Subway and it's raining now. Let's walk through this. I don't want to get that, my food too wet or me too wet, so I'm like, let me just get right through this. Ah, oh, shoes went untied. That's always annoying. Oh. So, yeah. Got my sub also got these new veggie chips. I got, I think I got a uh, bag of them like a week or two ago, but I forgot about them and I never tried them. I asked my mom if they were here, but um, she never answered, so I just got more. Anyway, I can just have um, the other, if the other ones another time. Anyway, here's my stuff. I did get bacon too, but this time I didn't. I didn't feel like having it. Yet. So I was just ham and extra cheese. Salt and pepper and um, parmesan. It's not that much stuff. Um, my mom got the marinara. I mean, meatball sub. I usually um usually don't really like the vegetables too much. I sometimes will get like tomatoes. Um, sometimes we'll try to have onions, but the onion taste is so overpowering. Okay, with like a few tomatoes, I just didn't want it this time. This is my best um, two through five relay. This is my best uh, two through five relay. Uh, I got 105 or uh, 105 on four by four, like two minutes on five by five, um, 16 on three by three, and two on two by two. Just because I was nervous and got bad times on these three, I could easily get like two minutes thirty. Also, I haven't done one since the summer. 